If you want to talk about women in the news, uh, this lady was the woman who made the most news. The year was 1978. For the first time, theater audiences experienced a galaxy far, far away. David Berkowitz had just been convicted of murder, and John Lennon would still be with us for the next two years. That year, famed oceanographer Jacques Cousteau commented on the white coat harp seal slaughter. To set the record straight, Jacques Cousteau never said he supported the hunt. Here's what he actually said. He said, The harp seal question is entirely emotional. We have to be logical. We have to aim our activity first to the endangered species. Those who are moved by the plight of the harp seal could also be moved by the plight of the pig. With Jacques Cousteau's death in 1997, I think it's very well said that quoting Cousteau on the seal hunt is very similar to quoting Einstein on God. Both men are dead, and fools will do what they will with their words. Since the seal hunt supporters are unwilling to lay these words to rest along with the great oceanographer, then allow me. As of 2009, this quote is 31 years old. All puns aside, a lot of water has gone under the bridge. Since 1978, there has been an unprecedented decline in animal populations, the likes of which have never been seen. Many creatures who once were stable have quickly found themselves on the threatened species list. Although their population appeared to be stable at the time, in the 1950s and 60s a team of scientists warned the Canadian government that the cod fishery was in impending danger. If asked to comment on their reports at the time, what do you think Jacques would have told them? Would it have sounded something like this? The cod question is entirely emotional. We have to be logical. We have to aim our activity first at the endangered species. Those who are moved by the plight of the codfish could also be moved by the plight of the pig. In today's world, I think we've learned that installing smoke detectors once the house is on fire is a sure design for loss. Are we able to live in a world where every species must be placed on the threatened or endangered species list before it deserves attention? Apparently the cod disaster hasn't taught seal hunt supporters anything. 21st century conservation begins long before a species is in peril. I think this is a perfect illustration of how some people just don't want to listen, especially if their government is paying them for their ambivalence. That being said, I want to leave you with another Cousteau quote. This one is taken shortly before his passing, almost 20 years after the Harpsville quote. I'll let the man speak for himself. The invention of the aquarelle and my passion for moving pictures have allowed me to reveal to the world the fragile symphony of inner space. Out of curiosity, I listened and understood the many forms of water. I listened to the bubblings of nascent brooks and to the deafening embrace of rivers mating with oceans. I witnessed the last foes of dying shores and finally I pricked up my ears to the water people, my brothers. I understood that water and life were indissolubly bound and that I must spend my own career fighting to protect that life and to safeguard future generations. Tomorrow, I will demand that the rights of generations to come be written in the duties of the living ones. If by such enterprises that make it possible for our children and our children not yet born to live with dignity in a world symphony, I will have fulfilled my mission. <laughs>